stomach and patting your head at the same time, what comes out of that, it generates this color of pink because it thinks, you know, if it's 32 or under the surface, kind of uh, extrapolating its, its means there of operation, could it be ice? Mm. Is it ice everywhere? Not always, but the yeah. ice threat is there. The potential is there, Michael, and that's why we're having those weather alerts continue throughout this evening overnight in that part of our viewing area. So on live triple Doppler brought to you by false so service experts. The good news I can pass along is here in Syracuse, we are above freezing. We just have wet road conditions and look at this, the back edge of some of the rain coming through western Onondaga County now. So it actually may just shut off to just sprinkles and a couple of spotty showers as we go through the evening. As we zoom into Onondaga County here. Places like Rome, I just checked out the Griffiths Airfield reporting uh, station there, and they have 33 degrees as of 5 p.m. We'll see what the 6 p.m. temperature comes out to be here. Could be close to 32, maybe just below. But many areas like Boonville, Swanket Mill, Camden, Amboy Center, over towards Trenton, the city of Utica, and out towards Herkimer County. The model is trying to tell us that, you know, there could be some icy conditions here if the rain is freezing on contact based on surface temperatures. So travel in these areas, especially north of the thruway could be a little challenging as we go through tonight. If you see a wet surface and you're driving in your car, truck, van, SUV, whatever you drive says, 32, 31, 30, 29 degrees. Treat that roadway the glossiness as though it were icy and slow it down a little bit. Winter weather advisories continue here for Jefferson, Lewis, Oneida, Oswego County is pretty much where the Tug Hill kind of touches here, all of these counties. I would say the emphasis could be uh, placed on Oneida County here for that light glazing, maybe up towards of a tenth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch of ice accretion, that buildup, that's not great for roads, bridges, sidewalks, parking lots, maybe your own driveway if you live in any of those counties. Now this says 33 degrees, again, right now the uh, Rome, Griffiths Field, but basically up towards Watertown, they're also at 33. So it's possible there could be some melting going on with some of the ice as the rain comes down. We're at 34 here in Syracuse. Look at that, almost 40 right now in Skinny Atlas. Future cast hour by hour. The model is kind of agreeing that a lot of that light rain in Syracuse could end by the next couple of hours. Tomorrow morning, you wake up, maybe a few more raindrops and wet snowflakes flying around. But look at these temperatures. They're actually coming up a few degrees. And that means any wet snow you see outside your window when you're driving, it's just going to maybe melt on contact because that's just too warm for it to stick everywhere. Maybe a little coating on your car, maybe a little bit in the mailbox or the deck, but that's about it. We take you through the day. Temperatures will slowly kind of ease down to the low 30s and maybe by this time tomorrow evening, some of it may stick to some of the roadways if you get to near and just below 32. All right, ice accretion could see anywhere of a tenth, maybe a quarter inch of ice out towards eastern sections of Onida County there. We'll watch that for you closely. Snowfall forecast, what else is new? Broken record for Syracuse in the gray. You know, in this situation with temperatures staying mainly above freezing right through, well, this time tomorrow, a trace, a coating of slush, maybe a half inch to inch if you're lucky. In the light blue, that's an inch and a half to maybe two or three. The hill town southwest, south, southeast of Syracuse. Some of the ski resorts and mountains there could pick up on a little light snow and adding to the deficit, but that'll just about do it. Seven day forecast, 37 with wet roads tomorrow. Saturday, a quiet weekend day. If you have any plans to go anywhere, you're okay, 34. Sunday near 40, and then some light snow rise later Sunday into Monday. We have to watch the models for the situation there. Monday morning could be some slow travel. And the same thing again for later Wednesday into Thursday. We're checking those models and updating the forecast day by day.